Okay, so it is uh, 3.43, um, and we'd like to call this meeting to order, this special board meeting to order. Um, and we will start with a roll call. Um, Alex, if you would. Ms. Williams. Here. Dr. Petty. Here. Mr. Neal. Here. Mr. Humphrey. Here. And Mr. Hodge. Here. It's Can actually 4.43. It is 4.43? I think you said 3.43. Oh, thank you for making that correction, Mr. Neal. Um, we, may we all stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? Oh, I'm trying to get the flag to show up. I'm sorry. It's great. Not allowing me to. We've got we've got a flag in our in our hearts and somewhere nearby. I pledge allegiance to the flag, to the flag of, of the United, United States, States of America. Of America. Into the republic, which is one nation, one nation under God, under God indivisible, indivisible, liberty, liberty and, justice and justice for all. Thank you. I'd like to entertain a motion to adopt the agenda. So moved. So I'm at, okay. It's been I'm on, not on mute, right? You can hear me? We can. It has okay. been moved and properly seconded. All those in favor say aye. Who seconded? Aye. aye. I did, I seconded. Okay. Next up on the agenda is the consent agenda. I'd like I to make a motion to approve the consent agenda, removing item 3.02 for a roll call vote on that item. There's a motion on the floor to approve the agenda with uh, an exception of item 3.02 to be moved to a, um, uh, uh, did you want that as a, was that motion to move it to the executive session for vote? Uh, yes, as long as we discuss it and then uh, we vote on it as a roll call vote. Uh, on a roll call vote, okay. Uh, is it, can we have, is it, uh, can we have a second for that motion? I'll second it. Okay. It has been uh, moved and properly seconded. Um, we will open this up for discussion. Uh, I do have a quick question. I'm actually in my car, so I don't have the agenda in front of me. What is 3.02? 3.02 is the purchase of 600 additional student Chromebooks uh, with a budgeted impact of uh, $150,000. No, so I'm sorry to interrupt, but um, it's actually purchased 500 additional student Chromebooks, budget impact $102,200. So there's been an, an, an adjustment from the agenda item that we've received. You're on mute, Alex. Okay. It's on the agenda. I don't know why it's not on you guys, but um, on board docs, Okay. It has 500 and 102,000. Okay, great, thank you. All right, so um, uh, we it is open for discussion. Yes, I just wanted to make sure that, uh, that uh, we go on record that the purchase of Chromebooks was discussed at three different times over the course of the last two to three months and on more than on three different occasions we were told i was told that a purchase of chromebooks would not be necessary i want to remind everybody of the board meeting just two weeks ago uh, that was also recorded as this meeting is being recorded where the it director also again stated that we would not need to uh, purchase chromebooks um, just as the number of Chromebooks to be purchased changed from 500, from 600 to 500 just now, there was an email or something sent out yesterday where the number was 250 Chromebooks. Um, and I think that it's my understanding that in the last two years, the district has purchased 5,000 Chromebooks. 
So I just wanted to make sure that everybody was aware of that and that uh, we have not been given any information as to why we were told three times in the last few months that we would not need to purchase Chromebooks. We were told we would not need to purchase Chromebooks in the last meeting, but there is no information to suggest why this has changed. What changed from two weeks ago? And to be exact, um, the IT director said that they had enough Chromebooks for every student with the exception of a few Chromebooks that they needed to repair. And I then said to him, I cautioned him about saying that we had enough Chromebooks until he was certain that we had enough, notwithstanding any repairs or anything. So again, I'm just wondering how do we get to this place of five or 600 Chromebooks and no explanation? Well, one of the things I did notice from what's attached to board docs, part of their explanation that was that they, they did an inventory of Chromebooks after summer school and they indicated that a large number of them had been damaged during use in summer school. Do we know what the large number was that was damaged in summer school? And it's my understanding that summer school was completed when the IT director gave his uh, report in the last board meeting. Uh, at this point, I, I can't answer that because I don't know. Uh, can you, Dr. Pusateri, do you have insight? Um, oh, we do have Zach on. Yeah. Uh, I Hello, uh, Aikman, uh, let me open my camera. Uh, okay, right now I'm driving to uh, whatever. Oh, guys, I started um, one month ago, firstly, and we didn't have any inventory when I started in this job position. Uh, we bought inventory program, then we put in, and what is changed in this two weeks, I already give the explanation to Dr. Phil and uh, today, Mr. Uh, Mr. Ronalds, because first we didn't have access to Chromebooks all the way to the end of the July because of the summer schools and some uh, site was construction. Like, for example, Belnor was a vaccine and they removed everything from the classrooms. We didn't have any information about that. Uh, or Obama, or Lucas, they finished just for, before 1st August. Uh, and then it's more than 100 computers, it was damaged, and lots of computer was not returned. And uh, one of the major uh, increase uh, on numbers, why we need the 500 Chromebooks come out, because of the enrollment numbers increase it too. I uh, give all, uh, written explanation to the doctor, uh, Mr. Ronalds today. Uh, it's over there, it's stated each school because the numbers, what we have last year, and we had a one-to-one -one per, per student, how I understand district was this. So it was one-to-one -one and um, lots of students was virtuals. They were using their own personal computers. Then, uh, when we find out it was a lot of students, even they didn't have the Chromebooks last year and they just distributed from the parking lot to all parents without doing any kind of inventory. So they just distributed, the car stop, they give the Chromebook, the car stop, they give the Chromebooks. And um, the number of enrollment increased like, uh, for example, high school, Today it was 900, uh, 795 students enrolled right now. So last year it was around 600, uh, I will say 60 or something like that. It already makes around 150 more computers just in high school. Obama was 120 and this year they won 208. That's Belnor. That's Belnor. Yeah, Belno, sorry. Yeah, uh, this is just examples. Uh, and let me, let me, let me jump in and, and, and let the, uh, uh, Ms. Barnett, let the records reflect that I'm here now. Sorry for the delay, everyone. So one of the things that I want to clarify here is that your understanding of the 
inventory when you first came in sounded like it was based on numbers from last year to now where you've done an actual, you're comparing that data what's anticipated in terms of enrollment, there was a gap, right? And yep. a gap at each school that you've identified, correct? Yes. And so that gap between what we understood as an enrollment from last year to what we understand reality now is the sum total of what you're projecting in terms of what we need to supply the Chromebooks to our students, plus some sort of contingency in the event that, because it's a one-to-one -one ratio, correct? Yes, uh, because uh, last year, again, it was one-to-one. -one. Let's say that if we have like a 2,000 students, and then this year, uh, or on your uh, board uh, meetings previous year, you decided to go to classrooms. Now we have more classrooms than the students. So it means that numbers will automatically increase. So like, uh, for example, if uh, in Lucas, we have 600 students enrolled, but when you put in the classroom exact amount of the, uh, because it needs to be exact amount of Chromebooks, let's say, for example, 30 computers per room. So that time they have a 30 classrooms. It's automatically makes that increase by in numbers. Because now we're putting these Chromebooks in the classrooms. So, so Zachary, you have, that we're adding? We have an, Excuse me? Go ahead, Ron. So in essence, we have an inventory management issue because we're not we haven't been, we're not able to track it, but then we also have a forecast issue. Is that is that accurate, Zach? Yes, yes. Which is contributing which is contributing to the demand for Chromebooks that we need right now. Yes. Correct? Okay. Yes. That's the bottom line. Yeah, I was confused because for that I was saying in the last two meetings that we don't need because I was expecting the same amount of the students and same amount of the Chromebooks. Now we have more classrooms and more cl uh, Chromebooks will need it placed in that classrooms, you know. Classrooms and pupils, to individuals and to serve. enrollment, yeah, and the enrollment is increased. All right. Okay. Because that uh, high school students will be assigned one to one still. So automatically just 150 is just over there increase. Okay. Zach, I've got a I've got a question about the inventory management. Do we have we established a process where we will not have the same uh, thing to occur next year? Uh, and is it do I understand correctly that we have Chromebooks that may not have returned uh, to our buildings? Yes, sir. Um, so um, what right now my audit shows that in our G Suite where we control in the Chromebooks, I can see in this maybe two, three years, maybe in four years, you have around, let's say more than 5,000 Chromebooks it shows. But in school, in actually we have around 2000 because a lot of students, they didn't even return it. So uh, it's already put me in the mystic position because I was uh, relying on that numbers of the, on what's on our G Suite it shows. And then when I started, it was, again, I'm repeating, it was no any, any kind of inventory so that uh, documents so we can track it, okay? Who get it? When I ask the help desk lead, he's showing me the pictures of the parents who pick up the Chromebooks. Just ID, ID of the parent. That's it. I say, how did you guys in, uh, assign the Chromebooks? They said that we just took the picture of it when it was pandemic time. The a picture of the ID, and then they give them Chromebook. That's it. So in, no in, inventory tracking system. For what goes out and what comes in. Yes. So, but uh, now uh, we put, uh, we're trying to uh, find our solution. We already get the software for inventory. We already started putting our uh, new laptops that we give out to teachers. We already start putting that. We have it. But now we will put the, uh, if you remember on last uh, board meeting, I said that we're going step by step. It was first priority to start with distribute laptops to teachers. Now we put that. Now we will start putting the Chromebooks 
again, it will take time. It's not like I don't have any kind of magic uh, thing that it will happen in one day or one week. But definitely, I, uh, we will put that in inventory but now. We are, we, but, but we are on track to get an inventory. Okay, but we are, to answer the question, Mr. Hodge posed, we are on track to have an inventory management system starting with uh, books that we, the Chromebook that we distribute, and then a mechanism to uh, um, that once they come back, they'll return, correct? Yes, we will start implementing. Okay. Uh, President Roberts, one more question. Maybe Dr. Ryder or Dr. Douglas or someone else uh, who's present today can help help uh, paint this picture. Are we supplying Chromebooks for families throughout the district? At, at, according to, to to what we've said, we we purchased over five thousand Chromebooks. We've only re, re, retrieved two thousand. That means that we've gifted three thousand Chromebooks to students and families throughout the district. So I don't know that I can give a definitive answer on that. What I'm understanding um, Zach to say is that the, in the G Suite, there are at least 500 Chromebooks logged. So the question is, were those truly Chromebooks that we had on hand? And that's where I'm not understanding for sure if we had a record that we had 5,000 throughout time. Yes. Uh this is a recorded. Whenever we are putting, um, uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, you can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so uh, whenever yes. we buying the Chromebooks, we putting them under to control. We putting under our G Suite so we can control and assign school email to students. So when we assigning emails, we have to add these Chromebooks to our system under our normandy.sc.org. So on that list, I can see more than, it's almost 5,000, almost 5,000, almost 5,000, but it's not like just bought last year. It, be, it can be in three years, in four years, you know, maybe it can be in five years, but I can see that list. I can share that list uh, tomorrow. I can print it and bring it to you, or I can send us an email. But this is the, whatever right now we have in schools, it's much, much less than that number. So basically because we don't have an inventory, but we have the G Suite, we, didn't, we, yeah. have, to assume, we have to assume we've gifted 3000 computers. Well, ish. Dr. Ryder, I thought, and, and this is my recollection because she did pass them out, Dr. I mean, well, Terry did pass them out at the high school. There was, when she scanned them into the G Suite, each one of those Chromebooks was assigned a number and assigned to a student. That's how she was able to track them in the buildings if someone lost them or if someone tried to sell them. So I'm not understanding how that's not a connection with the inventory of those Chromebooks. Where's that data? That data, it should be stored in SIS. Because I, I, Dr. Floyd and I watched her like scan those machines out to family. So there's some type of scan and some type of barcode that's attached to the student number. It's attached to their like web imprint because even when we had to do investigations, if kids were using it improperly, she could trace that, that um, machine back to the student. So, so it has to be somewhere. Dr. So, yeah, you're right. You're right. They are in G Suite, so we can track from there. But we, we cannot make sure that they return it or not, because some of them is uh, shut down. Some of them is uh, lost. Some of them sell. I, I'm getting emails from different districts that kids, uh, some of them return it there, you know. OK. All right. Well, then that makes sense. So we OK, we have so. Some students left the school, they took them with them, you know, some kind of these problems. Okay, so I want to make it uh, abundantly clear that my position has been and will continue to be that the students of the Normandy School Collaborative have the technology tools 
that they need in front of them. And so I don't want to belabor the point about kids not having the tools they need. That's not my concern. My concern is that any rational thinking individual would be concerned when the number of Chromebooks that we need changed three times within a 24 hour period. And then just two weeks prior, it changed a fourth time. So four changes in a short period of time, it does not suggest that anybody is really concerned about getting this right. I think it's even more important for us to point out, again, it's not about whether or not we're gonna make this purchase to ensure that every kid has what they need. I think it's important to point out that there are individuals on this call that I spoke directly to in the presence of other board members, not on one, not on two, but on three occasions. And we were assured that this would not be the case. When we were given those assurances, what were they doing? Were they counting the Chromebooks? Were they checking the data sheets? Were they using the, the G-Track to track them? What were they doing? Why did they say that they we would not need to purchase Chromebooks, but yet this is where we are? So that's my concern is that once again, we're going to find ourselves right back in the same situation because we still cannot tell how many Chromebooks we actually have. We still don't have anyone that knows how many Chromebooks we've purchased in the last two years, which is my understanding that is somewhere close to 5,000 in the last two years. And here's what's most important that I think that all of us that love children and love educating children, this is what we should all be concerned about. None of these machines that are being purchased are being purchased with any kind of protective case or covering that will protect them from wear, tear, and damage and protect them from normal school happenings. The kids are given these Chromebooks with a charger and that's it. And in all the districts in the surrounding areas, Chromebooks are distributed with a protective case and a carrying case. This too was mentioned to district leadership on multiple occasions. And yet here we are again with a purchase being made with no protective covering and without any carrying cases to keep those Chromebooks safe and functioning properly. So I wanted to just make sure that everybody had that information. But again, I am not opposed to uh, voting for and approving a purchase that makes sure and ensures that our kids have uh, everything that they need to be successful in school. That's not what the concern is about. So understood, and I think what, to sum it up, what we, one, making sure that we have what's needed so that we can start the, the school year off successfully with, the, uh, with everybody having the tools that they need to get off and running. The second overarching concern that we won't be able to address right now, but we're focused on it, and Zach has assured me of that, is making sure that we have an inventory management system so that we track what we're purchasing, what we're, what we're distributing, and the life of that, that tool until it is, is returned or uh, tracked otherwise if there is a damage or if they're stolen or whatever the other cases can be. So. Uh, that's a bigger issue that we're going to be focused on. Hear you loud and clear, Dr. Petty. Um, uh, and we need to get some answers. Um, and answers even to your question about how do we, how does this change so abruptly over time? But the bigger issue right now is to make, I think that Zach has invested enough time to help us to understand what we need to get the school year started. And he's uh, uh, come up with a plan on making sure that we have an inventory uh, monitoring tracking system. So I came, uh, do, do we have, uh, and I, again, I apologize for being late, but I think that there's something on the table for us to uh, make the decision so that we can uh, arm, uh, um, yes. uh, approve what's necessary to proceed. So- Yes, and there's a motion on the floor that has been uh, seconded and we have had discussion around the purchase of 500 additional uh, Chromebooks uh, at a budgeted cost of $102,000. Is that correct, Alex? 
That is correct. But due to discussion, we will have to move this item to items for action. So I want to note that on the record. Great. I think we are we are just about at the point where we need to take a vote uh, uh, under items for action. But I, I think we'll move it to items for action and then we'll vote at that point. Um, what I would like to do is to, to make sure that Zach is preparing an inventory management plan and a damage prevention plan uh, as been recommended uh, before we take that, uh, that vote. Is that something that you can prepare for us, Zach? Uh, yes. Uh, okay. Uh, for damage protections, um, we already ordered. Uh, we already get. Uh, no, sir. I don't. I don't. We don't need to go through that now. Okay. We, we would just like for you to prepare yes. it uh, so that we can understand what the inventory management plan is and the damage protection plan, uh, because I also would like some forewarning about what it's going to cost to do the kinds of things to invest this uh, at, to protect this investment, like. Uh, Dr. Petty has mentioned protective cases and carrying cases uh, so that we'll know that this is not the last expense uh, for these, these uh, Chromebooks and we can project what it's going to cost to do to cover all of the, the Chromebooks that we have. And we'd like for you to give some thought to that and prepare that for us. Got it. Thank you. If, if, I, if I can clarify, I think where we are right now, I think there was a motion and a second to adopt the consent agenda because he had requested that 3.02 would be moved for a roll call vote. And Alex is asking that we move 3.02 for item for action. So what we need to do now is simply vote on the remaining items on the consent agenda. All right, so with that, the chair will recognize a motion to adopt uh, to approve the consent agenda items with removal of three item 3.02 moved to items for action. So moved. Well, we already had a motion and a second on it. All we needed to do was vote. Mm -hmm. This vote, roll call vote. No, roll, roll, call vote. Call. roll call vote was only for 3.02. All in favor. All right, so it's amended. All the motion is on the floor. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, same privilege. The motion is carried. We're moving on to item number uh, four items for action. And this is where we deal with item 3.02. Let's deal with that first. Well, I, 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 think, I think the fact that uh, Dr. Petty brought that to our attention is something that's extremely, extremely important. I think we all agree that they're gonna need to have the necessary laptops to start school. And I think once we get the inventory system, and I'm especially interested in knowing when laptops are not returned to the district, what actions do we take? Uh, but at this point, I, I agree that we do need to approve the purchase, but likewise, we need to look at our total inventory, know what we've purchased, what we have, what's broken, what, what didn't get returned, so we have a more comprehensive understanding of what we're talking about. Sure, is it, uh, Zach, is it fair to say that by the next board meeting, we'll have an updated presentation on how we deal with this? I will, I will do my best to prepare that needed documents. Okay, I appreciate the, hon I appreciate the honesty. So now let's move to, uh, I'll entertain a motion to approve the purchase of 600 additional uh, student Chromebooks budgeted at uh, impact of uh, up to 150000 not to exceed. So move. Uh, be before we move forward, the, the attached document asks for 500 the, the printed text says 600 So I think we're actually approving 500 Zach, clarify that motion. Is it five or is it six, 600 Sorry. It's for 500 Okay, so for so I, I'll entertain a motion to approve additional purchase of five hundred additional Chromebooks. Uh, so no move, second. second. It's been moved and probably seconded. The first is Petty. The uh, second is uh, Mr. Humphreys. 
Uh, yeah. Any any discussion? I think we've had that, but uh, uh, for being in order, any discussion? Hearing none. All in favor? Aye. Well, he actually asked for a, he asked for a roll, roll vote on this one. Uh, so a roll call vote, fine. No, uh, I'm, I'm sure we, I, I've seen that. I, I think the discussion was sufficient. Even okay. Those, those suspenders, uh, I'm sure Mr. Hodge won't mind. If you don't mind, Mr. Hodge, roll call vote. Oh, I mean, uh, Alex, 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 yes, Alex, Alex, sorry, Alex, Alex, Mr. Mr. Roberts. Yes. Dr. Petty. Yes. Mr. Hodge. Yes. Mr. Neal. Yes. Ms. Williams. Yes. Mr. Humphrey. Yes. Okay, the motion is carried. Moving on to item 4.02, purchase of proximity service. Dr. Douglas. So um, we are still in the same place that we were with the materials that I submitted at the last um, meeting, where we are still needing um, science teachers at the high school. And um, I submitted the, um, the, the invoice to the high school and I submitted the um, invoice for Barack Obama and Washington um, to make sure that we had coverage in our science classrooms. Um, mm -hmm. Phoenix is moving forward. We've had um, our third uh, run through and we have coverage in math and ELA. We currently today still have 28 uh, teacher vacancies. Um, we needed to put proximity in place because we did not internally have um, the equity in our science um, uh, instructional team. And so um, we wanted to move forward in this manner. Um, I understand uh, from conversations I've had today that there is going to be maybe a little bit of lag time with them filling those positions. Is that correct, Crystal? I, I'm not sure what you mean by lag time. You mean with proximity so, coming online or do you mean online getting those that teachers? Is true. Yeah, that's that is right. True because we're so late in the game and so many schools are starting. But I do think um, in lieu of, you know, I, I don't see the teachers on the horizon. So my recommendation is that we move forward to make sure our students are covered um, in those um, gatekeeper subjects, which are our cores like science. You've heard the uh, presentation. Uh... With that, I'll entertain a motion to uh, uh, to proceed with the purchase of proximity services as presented. So moved. Is there a second? Second. Second. All right, so the moved and properly second. Is there any discussion? All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed, saying, opposed saying privilege. The ayes have it unanimously. All right, moving on, uh, actually a little out of order, but uh, we already approved the consent agenda items. So therefore, uh, uh, I'll entertain, we have to move to executive session to deal with legal, real estate, and personnel matters. I will entertain a motion to uh, adjourn to executive session by roll call vote. Mr. Roberts. I'm oh, sorry. Yes. Mr. Neal. I'm sorry, hold up. Uh, let's get a, 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 a Mr. Uh, Petty, uh, I mean, Mr. Humphrey, can I get a second on that? And then we can move to the roll call vote. Can second. I get a second? All right. Second. By roll, by roll call vote, Alex, you have the first by Mr. Humphrey, the uh, second by Mr. Petty, by roll call vote, Ms. Marnett. Mr. Roberts? Yes. Mr. Neal? Yes. Ms. Williams? Yes. Mr. Hodge? Yes. Mr. Humphrey? Yes. And Dr. Petty? Yes. All right. We shall uh, thank you, everyone. We'll, I'll see you in the exec session shortly.